Please don't try any of this at home. We are what you call experts. We do this for a living. Okay, this is uh, going to be the second part of taking out windshields and stuff. I've already done a test run. It works good. I'm using this stuff, this orange spick and span stuff, only because when it cleans really well. But uh, I notice when I'm clean with this stuff that it's like super oily and just really slippery. So that's why the reason I chose that. I stuck a little bit of dish soap with it and thinned it down a lot normally I normally do. And it's working like crazy. I've gone back to Dave's garage and uh, put on a real. I bought this putty knife at a uh, Walmart. It was a better one. It's stiffer, not stiffer, and it's sharper. And so far, it's working like mad. You can see my spray bottle there. I'm going to show you how it's working. It's breaking the windshield, but I don't particularly care. Let's see if we can get a good shot of it. As long as it doesn't hit the body. Or get too stuck in the, If you hit the body, it gets too stuck. But otherwise, when it doesn't hit the body, it moves pretty quick. It's really hard to hold the camera and do this at the same time, but... Yeah, it works pretty good. Especially when it's lubricated. Let's see. See how it works down here at the bottom. Yeah. I need a little bit more lubrication, but uh, works a lot better. If the uh, camera wasn't dying right now, I forgot to charge it. I would uh, go ahead and film it. Maybe I'll do that. I'll shut the camera off here and set it up and let it film as long as it can go. So, see ya.
there you go. And we're still running. I would say that works really quick. Especially with that orange stuff. It's going to be real slippery. Same problem though. If you lose a level and you think you work all the way around, it's like still one piece, one string of the silicone still holding it. But as you can see in real time, that was pretty fast. So, see ya.